This year's coverage of SHOT Show 2018 is sponsored by Olight. Hi there, my name is Michael with VanQuest Gear and today I'm going to be showing you our new McCor 45 liter backpack. So we can see from the outside, um, this is the Wolfgate colorway. We have a couple attachment points, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So first things first, what we're doing for our new packs in 2018 moving forward, we're using Thousand Denier Cordura on the bottom of the bag. So this is the highest wear area. So this panel right here and the bottom of the water bottle pocket, these are 1000D. The rest of the bag is 500D. So you've got the strongest material you can, you can find and then uh, a pretty good weight saving as well as still a really rigid and durable material. And while we're down here, we can also see we have these bottom attachment points for your sleeping bag, you know, bivy system, anything like that. Um, we can also clearly see here, we have some loops. So these are adjustable tool loops. You can go up to the size of a ski, down to the size of a trekking pole, and anything in between. These work in combination with this one inch webbing we can see coming up here and these elastolocks. So these are our elastolocks that are coming out. We're gonna have all three colors. This one isn't color matched, but this bag does include two of these guys. So what you do is you push down and it cams, just like that. It's one hand operation, you can push it back, cams back in. So it's pretty straightforward. There you go. Perfect for cylindrical items and uh, great management for tools. So on the front here, you can see we have a shock cord field. This is something you've seen in other bags like the Ibex 30 before. But what we added is our duck foot. So if you have a jacket or something like a light layer, and you're gonna slide it through here, it won't fall out the bottom because you have this little drawbridge made out of Hypalon, our duck foot, which will adjust with tension on the uh, shock cord. Let me move to the side here. So obviously one liter, um, water bottle support. You know, these are our bottles and they're 32 ounce. So one liter, no problem. Some of the 40 ounce will work too, as long as it's about the same diameter, a little taller. And we do have adjustable and user replaceable uh, gear keepers for your hydration. So, you know, it's, it's something that if it gets damaged or you want to switch out the color, that's no problem. Underneath that, you can see one of the two compression straps. So there's one up top. And there's one down there, as well as you can see our full size laser cut Hypalon Molly Air. So, you know, same thing as Molly, much more durable and uh, fairly lightweight as well. So, let's move to the front. It's a pretty busy bag on the front, but what's going on here? All right, so this, this panel is our beaver tail. So, it has a couple of supports. There's SRBs on the side here, as well as a G hook here. And what that allows you to do is if you want to open the bag, and get to something, the beaver tail won't fall away and you can still get to everything. So since we're already in the bag, right when you open it, you can see there's a couple of pockets here. This is actually a pass-through pocket. This goes to the main outside pocket. So if you need to get in your bag, let's say you got um, you know, a rain cover right here at the top of your bag packed. You can leave this guy open and just come right through here and grab it. As well as some zeppered mesh pockets with some decent volume down here. So, you know, anything that you need, throw it in there. But we give you the organization so you don't have to go hunt for it. Uh, something you've seen similar in our Falconer 30 is this Molly Air panel. So this is laser cut Molly Air. And it's both Molly and Velcro um, attachment compatible. So that's what you got. Back here, these guys, these one inch SRBs with the contrasting orange buckles. This is something we include in the McCore. And we have also compression for your hydration. So there's your hydration hanger exit coming out the back. This is a three liter, it'll support any three liter hydration bladder on the market. Back here is the frame pocket. And the frame pocket has our newly designed polycarbonate frame, which is the keystone to the suspension of this backpack. Um, it's actually fairly rigid for, you know, a target weight, target carry weight of about 38 pounds. Um, you can go a little more than that. Of course, you can go a little bit less, but that's about the perfect comfortable range. And for a 45 liter bag, that's doing pretty good. And this guy is supported by our new suspension system, which is a fully adjustable for torso height. You actually have five positions here for adjustment. And it's a pretty straightforward, it's a really common 
uh, well-proven design for the harness system go up, going up, going down. But there's actually a couple things going on. So you have the frame, you have the adjustable suspension system, and you have a very rigid, stiff, and weight-supporting waist belt. Now, it is removable, but that's only for storage or travel, you know, where you really want to keep it in there. Uh, because this kind of bag, it's going to take a lot of weight. But you see the back panel here, large, large breathways. Basically, you know, it's, it's going to give you the most amount of coolness on your back. Just a big breathway there. A couple things like you got a top grab handle, of course, load lifters there. Sorry, load adjusters. Side grab handles here. But what I'm going to also show you here is this beaver tail, when you convert it down into that tactical mode, there's two sides. We're looking at the sport side now. This is kind of the, you know, covert side or non-tactical. And then down here we have laser cut Cordura Molly. So this is our Cordura Air, our Molly Air Cordura, with a full-size map pocket that will, if people are asking, fit a small-size sappy plate. Just a Velcro pocket back here. Of course, maps. You know, te technically, yeah, it'll fit a map. But people are going to ask, and it'll fit the small sappy plate and other stuff that's the same size. But the cool thing is, what you can do is convert this guy. And I'm going to take you over here. And when you convert it, here's your capability. So what you're looking at is the beaver tail folded in on itself. And down there, if we come down to here, we're using that center G-hook and a little conveniently labeled left and right tab to fold the wings of the beaver tail in to create what we call the durable arms management system or beaver dam. So that would comprise of this, these folded wings here for your stock or the end of your bow, as well as these one inch that we saw on the inside earlier with a seven position vertical uh, ladder here. So pretty secure. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can actually take the panel here, the beaver tail, flip it over and it'll cover more of the stock, or you can actually remove the, uh, you can remove the, the, the beaver tail dam's compartment here, fold it out flat, and when you put it over the rifle, you'll still have you know the muzzle and part of the butt exposed, but if you have an optic or anything like that, you're running the beaver tail to cover most of the bag, and then you'll just have sticking down here and out the front. So that's, that's something that has function, as well as there's a, a whole separate one that'll take way too long to, to rig up, but I can show you sort of. Imagine taking this out, Flipping this guy around, rerouting it through here and through the, the beaver, I mean the duck foot. And then you create a little tube. So anyone talking about helmet carry or something similar, we got you covered. So these guys at 45 liters, six pounds, it's a little heavy, but with the capability here, this is perfect for a hunt, perfect for a three, four day, uh, perfect for like scouting, search and rescue. And we're looking at wolf gray, black, coyote tan colorways with a 269.99 retail, so 270, which will be available in May. And that's what we got.